I'm absolutely certain that this tutorial is a necessary requirement for all budding word writers. The end result will be a clear understanding of what a pleonasm is. Let me repeat that again. The final outcome will be a clear understanding of what a pleonasm is and why you should avoid them. Let's explore and discover more. So what is a pleonasm? A pleonasm is a fancy way of saying that someone is using more words than they need to. For example, instead of saying the big giant, you could just say the giant. Big is unnecessary because all giants are big. Or instead of saying she nodded her head, you could just say she nodded. Her head is unnecessary because we know nodding involves moving your head. We sometimes use pleonasms without even realizing it because they've become part of our everyday language. How many of these expressions have you heard recently? It's a true fact that the end result was I saw it with my own eyes. It was an unsolved mystery. The final verdict was. Can you repeat that again? It's a necessary requirement. All of the crossed out words are unnecessary and they don't alter the meaning of what you're saying, yet people still use them. Sometimes pleonasms are deliberately used to help emphasize a point. Advertisers selling products will often talk about free gifts, major breakthroughs, new innovations, true facts, added bonuses. The message would be the same without these words, but it's thought that the extra words make it more persuasive. Most of the time, though, when we're communicating, it's best to be concise. It's best to eliminate unnecessary words. It's best to avoid pleonasms. Why, you might ask? Well, using unnecessary words can clutter your writing and make it harder for the reader to understand what you're trying to communicate. Pleonasms can also make your writing sound repetitive, long-winded, boring, and unprofessional. As Thomas Jefferson, the principal author of the US Declaration of Independence, once said, never use two words when one will do. So how can we avoid pleonasms? Make sure the adjectives and adverbs you use add value to the sentence. If they don't, cross them out. In front of him was a tall skyscraper. Marie lay on the beach and basked in the warm sun. Tony jumped and landed on the hard rock. Stephanie screamed loudly when she saw the spider. When you use acronyms, know what they stand for so you don't repeat what the last letter stands for. What is your PIN number? PIN stands for Personal Identification Number. I need to find an ATM machine to get some cash. ATM already stands for Automated Teller Machine. The GPS system is not working. GPS stands for Global Positioning System. Start keeping a list of the pleonasms that you hear or read. 
It's fun to find them. And by watching out for them when other people use them, you'll be more likely to notice if you're using them too. Here's five common pleonasms for you to start with. Join together. Plan ahead. Absolutely certain. The honest truth. In serious danger. The evening sunset. So, from now on, avoid using pleonasms. When you read your writing through, make sure you check to see that you haven't used any unnecessary words or phrases that do not add any value to your message.